Ephesians 1, 4, reading from verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms. Verse 4. For he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, before the foundation of the world, to be holy and blameless in his presence. He chose us to be blameless and holy in his presence in love. Verse 5, he predestined us for adoptions, for adoption as his sons, through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will. Each one of us laboring in the kingdom has been chosen before God even created the world. We were a part of his heart, we are a part of his heart manifested. If you go and you check that out. If you go and you check out the revelation of who we are, um, we did that sermon, I think, before. Amen? We did that sermon before where God says we are a manifested part of his heart. That was beautiful. Um, they're trying to get me to forget my scripture, but I remember it so well. Ephesians. For he chose us, oh darn it, I'm not forgetting, Ephesians 1, verse 3 to 5. Now, I'm drinking of those bottles again, I'm not supposed to snap. Ephesians, verse 3 to 5. Praise be to the God and Father for Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Verse 4. He chose us in Him before the creation of the world. Can you mind, Father, not? Can you mind take that in? Listen. He chose us before the foundations of the world, before he even made the world. And it says, to be holy and blameless in him, or in his sight, in love, verse 5, he predestined us for adoption, to sonship, or to be heir of the throne in Christ, okay? Through Christ, in accordance with his pleasure and his will. All right, hold on. John five nineteen. You are wonderful, glorious majesty. Okay, John five eighteen to twenty. Because of this, the Jews tried all the harder to kill him. If we whoa. If we go to see in the scriptures before what what he was saying, what was he saying to them? We're gonna look at it, John. John five, verse verse what? Verse verse nineteen. So we're going verse eighteen ish. When I'm um, going up a little further. Okay, here we go. Verse 15. So they're angry that a man just got healed. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus who made him well. 4967250. I don't know. He's reminding me of a number now. I'm writing it down. Four, nine, six, seven, six, eight, um, I forgot her name. Okay. John 5, verse 15. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. 
verse 16 for this reason the jews persecuted jesus and sought to kill him because he had done these things on the sabbath so they've lost their complete minds in that they've lost the spirit of the law and the spirit of the law is love so check this out verse 17 but jesus answered them my father has been working until now and i and i have been working verse 18 therefore the jews i hear frogs now the jews sought all the more to kill him because he did not only break the sabbath but also said that god was his father making him equal with god so when we say, hmm, see the spirit is opposing to that. Not only can some people not confess that Jesus is the Christ, they cannot confess that Jesus is the Father. See like how the Son made one with the Father? What are we? Sons of God. Who is God? Jesus. I dare you to say it. Therefore, the Jews sought all the more to kill him. Because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also said that God was his father, making himself equal with God. Verse 19, then Jesus answered and said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, the son can do nothing of himself but what he sees the father doing. For whatever he does, the son does in like manner. Why did he say that? What a thing to say. Whatever he sees the Father doing, so he's seen it. What? So what are we doing? Whatever we see the Father doing, or we know that the Father is pleased by, we do. Which is through his Holy Spirit. All right, verse 20. For the Father loves the Son. And shows him all things that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these, that you may marvel. How many of us want to do greater works? <laughs> John 5, 20, verse 21. For as the Father raises the dead and gives life to them. Put up your hands. Lift it to heaven right now. As the Father raises the dead and gives life to them, even so the Son gives life to whom he will. Ah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Ouch. That's a crazy mosquito. Went straight to my nose. All right. The sun gives life to who he will. See that? He said life and life more abundantly. For who the, who the sun set free is. Free indeed. Hallelujah. So we're reading again. John 5 verse 18. So because of this, the Jews tried all the harder to kill him, but not only was breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling God his own father. Making himself equal with God. So Jesus replied, Truly, I tell you, the son can do nothing by himself unless he sees the father doing it. For whatever the father does, the son also does. The father loves the son. And shows him all he does. I love those who love me. And to your amazement, he will show him greater, even greater works than these. I love those who love me. You are. Wonderful Proverbs 8.17. I hear him saying, I love those who love me. Wait for it. Proverbs 8.17. Verse 16 to 18. Buy me princes rule. And all nobles 
who just who govern justly. I love those who love me, and those who seek me early shall find me. What did he just say there? I love those who love me. Huh? I love those who love me. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, those who seek me early will find me. Verse 18. With me are riches and honor, enduring wealth and righteousness. This one didn't come out, so I don't know what was there. Now we're going to the scripture verse. Joshua bid him or them farewell. I don't know where he's going with this, but he's going. I don't even know what Joshua's farewell is about. Joshua's farewell. 23. Joshua 23, verse 1. The Lord let Israel live in peace with his neighbors for a long time. And Joshua lived to a ripe old age. All right? Like a mango on a tree. Verse 2. One day he called a meeting of the elders of the tribes of Israel. Including the old man, the judges, and the officials. Then he, then he told them, I am now very old. Verse 3. You have seen how the Lord your God fought for you. And helped you defeat the nations who lived in this land. So when you attack them, he will make them run away. I've already divided their land among your tribes. As I did with the land of the nations. I defeated between the Jordan River and the Mediterranean Sea. Verse 6. Be sure that you carefully obey everything written in the book of the law of Moses and do exactly what it says. Sounds like he's dying. Verse 7. Do not have anything. Look. Do not have anything to do do not have anything to do hello I'm reading here with the what in the world is going on here do not have anything to do 